Okay, so let's start with this picture here, this one. All right, uh, there should be colored pencils kicking around the room. Um, go ahead and color those in. So I've got this picture I just sent to you, or I just gave to you. Let me get a, this is my original. So let's do some labeling on here. So this is upside down. Let's do that one. This one is a structure of a mold cell or uh, of a mold um, fungus, sorry. Oops, sorry, you're not even on the camera. All right, and these are the zygomycotas. <laughs> See if I can read my own handwriting. So these stems here, or these stalks, they have a name. They are called sporangiophora. <laughs> Great name. See if I can read my own handwriting. So these are sporangiophores. All right, so these stalks kind of shoot up from this here. This is a root-like structure. These guys here are called rhizoids. Let me just kind of do that. This root-like part here is called a stolon. All right, and then I don't know if you noticed, but this actually has kind of like that mushroom top shape to it. All right, and this is called a sporangium. Notice that this one here, sporangiophora, sporangiophora and sporangium both have the word spore in them. So these little guys here, they kind of burst out of this, this uh, sporangium. and they kind of shoot their spores around. Have you ever had moldy bread before? And when you touch it, you see like little dust particles come off? Okay, well when you move it around, you might see little dust particles move off of it. Those are spores. Probably shouldn't breathe those in, just saying. <laughs> All right, and so that is that one. I'm gonna take some colored pencils here. This one, rhizoids. Yeah, R H I Z O I D S, rhizoids. Grab a colored pencil, or you can use markers on this because it's not in your notebook yet. This one here, sporangium, S-P-O-A-R-R-A, -R -R sorry, S-P-O-R-A-N-G-I-U-M, sporangium. Aren't those cool names? Sporangium.
Red mold tends to be like a lab, like a green color, right? Like a blackish green. Red mold. Look at this black. It's so pretty. Mold. It's made up of what are called lipids. Now, if you go back to your biology days, if you took a biology class, you might have heard that there were different types of um, lipids. Yeah, structures, proteins. Um, this one here, they tend to have um, hydrophilic or hydrophobic. Sorry, hydrophobic um, layer is the facing outward, so water can't easily penetrate through it. Um, so this is the cell membrane. Something that's kind of unique to um, funguses is this layer here. And this layer is made up of chitin. C-H-I-T-I-N. I'm gonna double check. Oh, oops, I forgot to start that up again. Hmm? Monoproteins, yeah. Why am I coloring it? Hmm? Why not? Get it all out of the way at one time. Yeah. So if you were going to be growing mushrooms for the nutritional value of them, you might want to find out if beta-glucans are important in creating um, you know, health, health effects on humans, right? What's that? Are beta-glucans in bananas? Is that what you said? couple things I did not label, which I'm about to right now. I forgot. These are, these guys here are membrane proteins. There's different types of proteins that are embedded in the membrane and things that need to get in and out of the membrane or in and out of the, the, um, the cell will have to go through these different types of proteins. So some of them are coded for specific things. Some of them are coded for other things. And so, for example, um, the COVID virus had, um, basically think of it as a key. It had a key that it was able to invade our cells. So it would lock into one of these me uh, membrane proteins and um, it would then deposit its um, DNA inside our cells. And then we would then produce more of those cells. 
And so that's how COVID would spread inside our body. So what we did is we created um, a way of blocking that with our virus or with our uh, vaccines, okay? Um, but this is how things get inside and out of a cell. And they're just different types of proteins. Membrane proteins. Sitting in the membrane. <laughs> All right, don't cut these out to put into the book yet because we have to do one thing on page 42 and then you're going to put these on there. So I want to make sure you have enough room. What does that mean? I'm smart. Cerebral? <laughs> Should I? Right, right now? But I'm teaching. <laughs> I'll check it out. I'm curious. What color are you? Golden orange. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was a while ago, yeah. That's cool. All right, if you just got here, do me a favor, take your phone and snap a picture of this. If you just got here. Hmm? Yes, you do. That's why I'm saying take a picture of it. Yeah, if you just got here, take a picture. So this goes on page 42 in your book. You're going to tape them all down. It's going to be a one full page. There is one more picture I want to do, but we may have to do another flip page. Okay.